My name is Marsha Woolman and I'm one of the board members with the Goose Creek Association and I chair the project, the tree planting project. We call it the Goose Creek Challenge. We have established a wonderful partnership in both Fauquier and Loudoun counties with the soil and water districts. This project today is being done at Oak Grove Farm just down the road from Atoka. All told, we'll have over 50 students here and probably another 20 adults. We hope to plant over 300 trees along this tributary of Goose Creek. The trees will provide food for the wildlife and birds. It will also stabilize the ground, provide shade, and over time become a wonderful strip of habitat to um, add to our Goose Creek watershed. What we're doing here is we're trying to reintroduce some of the native species of shrubs and trees, and we have specifically tried to target uh, trees and shrubs that are ideal for wildlife. The essential part about the trees in a riparian area is that they're going to shade the stream and they're going to put a, a tremendous amount of leaf litter into the stream. And the macroinvertebrates, the small insects and things that live in that stream, they're going to basically eat those leaves that have the algae and the diatoms and stuff colonizing them and that's a good energy source for them and then in turn the, uh, the fish will eat them. Now looking at this you might not see, think of fish being in here, but this is where the watershed starts. And so you can't just think of the big rivers of, of the place to put the trees. We need trees there too, but we also need trees up here because this is where the water starts and this is where we want to slow it down. My name is Jonathan Kraut. I've been uh, teaching for over 10 years. Um, I just started over at Highland School in Warrington, Virginia this past year. And uh, I teach environmental science and marine biology over there. The benefit about teaching at Highland is we can create a curriculum around things that it get the kids experience. Um, so they have a good basis on what they're going to be doing here and then when we get back to the uh, back to the school we'll be able to kind of reflect on that. These students that have come out here today are learning um, about volunteerism as well as the environment and hopefully it will be a message that they will carry their whole lives.